something you write about calling plays under those circumstances? Yeah, it was it was quite fun, you know. Um, yeah, you just you just do the best you can, you know. And you and really that was a that was a type of game where we had to really adjust on the fly, you know, because a couple guys went down. We had to shuffle some offensive linemen. Um, and there was some good communication going on during that game for us. Russell admitted it wasn't one of his best games, but at least on Sunday he wasn't quite able to pinpoint why he was struggling a little bit. What did you see from him? Well, you know, I, I think it, there, there's a, a combination of factors, you know, and, it, and it's always going to be that way, I think, um, as an offense, you know, when, um, you know, I mean, he, he thought that he struggled a little bit. You know, there's some where he missed throws. There's some where protection issues cause, you know, cause him to move or, you know, or cause throws to happen like that. Um, you know, guys being in the right place at the right time for him, you know, so it's it's never just one thing that you can, you know, really put your finger on. Um, it's, u- it's usually a combination of factors. Uh, increasing the role on your rookie receivers, especially since the first you got traded, just what are you kind of seeing out of them from day to day? Um, yeah, I just like what I see. I like the growth that I see from them. Uh, you know, when we've when we've called upon them and they, you know, they've had opportunities to make the plays, they've made them. Uh, and I, I think I said last week or the week before that you know that was a, the the catching part was something that it, that we felt was there. That they're they're both great solid catchers and you know they can make phenomenal plays um, catching the ball it's just being at the right place at the right time knowing their assignment making the adjustments that they have to make and they've been able to do that so far that challenge you for a piece of that is in particular yeah it can be you know it can be because you know you ask them you, you try at the beginning to you know let them just learn their their spot but because there's there's not that many guys you have to you have to start to learn other positions and you know so they're starting to learn two and three positions and you know if something happens where a guy goes down they have to make an adjustment so it, it can start you know to um, get pretty involved for them but they, they, but they've done a nice job with it can you take us through the unique mechanics of last week? It sounds like you had to check with Cable to say, I'm going to call this play so Bailey needs to go to guard, Billy needs to go to the tackle. Is it like that? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's got to be some great communication going on, you know, and, and sometimes it might have been an after the fact, you know, like, oh, no, I don't know if this one is going to be good. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, there's you – know, because, um, you know, we hadn't been able to rep every one of those guys at, at the positions that they were at. So um, you had to go back to, you know, fall back on, on Tom a lot to say, you know, what do they know, what can we run. Um, you know where where can we put them to just to make ourselves successful? And that's something we talk about all the time is being able to put our guys in positions to to help us be successful. Whether it's linemen, whether it's tight ends, receivers, um, you know, doing the right thing with the quarterbacks, with running backs, and you know, you know, the line's really no different in that case. You, you, they have to have had the reps and kind of know their assignments before you can expect them to, to you know, to do a nice job for you. Well, the adjustments were happening, you know, a little bit, a little bit quick. And some of them um, at the beginning was in the drive because it happened during the drive. So, um, you know, so there's a little bit of communication with Tom. And then, you know, then once we are, we, the series is over, then there's a little bit better communication. Said, so, okay, here's, Here's what I feel like that, that they can really handle, and, and then we go from there. Have you ever had a game on screen? You have so many. No, I don't, you know, not that I can remember. I mean, and, you know, and it was happening. It seemed that, like it was happening fast and on the fly, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I remember Tom walking out onto the field, and he's looking at the sideline like, okay, you go over there, you go here. He was really orchestrating and working hard to, to get that done. Hopefully, get the right eleven guys on the field from play. Yeah, you know, we st- we still had our issues. You know, I mean, um, that's something that we, we that we've got to clean up. You know, regardless if we have new guys in there or not. I mean, you know, we had we still had two holes. We had 
two false starts. We had, um, you know, uh, a legal procedure out there and, you know, a couple others. So, you know, the, the pre-snap ones are really the ones that, that, that we've got to uh, get a handle on. You know, one time that, you know, the big tight end stepped off the ball in the middle of the play. And, you know, we, we've got to do better at those kind of things. Where is J.R. Sweezy improved the most since... Three years ago. <laughs> I mean, he's yeah, he's he's a long way. I mean, he's he's such a phenomenal player for us. And you know, the first thing is just his toughness and the mentality that he brings to the position. I mean, we we love his his tenaciousness and how hard he plays and and uh, you know, kind of the road grader that he is for us up front. He's kind of our tough guy. And uh, but his technique and and his understanding of offense is I mean, is, is light years from where it was. Uh, I mean, he played defensive line. You know, he'd, he'd never done it before, and and uh, I mean, he's he's you know probably one of the better guards in the league, in my opinion. You guys have always talked about that toughness and stuff. Does he now have some refinement to kind of that approach? Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, he he didn't really have any understanding. I mean, he was just going to fire off and hit somebody, and you know, if it moved, it you know, he might not hit it, and. You know, now he has an understanding of, of how to use it and how to time it and how to work with Britt and, you know, and, and Max when he's in there next to him. And, uh, you know, so he has, a, he has a much better understanding. Todd was saying one of the ways that's really materialized is his second level stuff. Right. The recognition and how to get guys past your Yeah, the, you know, the angles you have to take and, and you know, the understanding of, you know, where the play is going or, and how that second level might move, you know, depending on what the running back's doing. And, uh, you know, he just, just the reps and the turns that he's been able to have has helped him improve. To get out of uh, Tony Moyan. Well, I mean, first we got to see what he can do, you know. Um, I mean, we, we know his history, you know, he's, he's, he's a phenomenal catcher as, uh, you know, as well. And, you know, that's something that we really like, you know, we're still looking for, a, you know, a little bit of power at the, at the tight end position. Um, you know, so hopefully we'll, we'll see how he's going to fit in as a Y for us. And, you know, we'll just kind of move along in the week and, you know, see where we can get, you know, same thing like last week with Will. You know, just trying to fill it out, see, you know, see what he can handle, what he can do, and, you know, we'll go on with that. He was, he was saying that uh, kind of third downs, red zones, maybe an area of emphasis, second half of the season, all that. What, what do you think needs to be specifically to make it happen? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is our penalties. You know, um, you know, our pre, our pre snap penalties. Um, has has been a big factor, as you know, as well as some of the holding penalties, which has put us into longer yardage third downs. Um, you know, so it all goes back to first and second down, like we've talked about. Uh, I think our our short yardage and our you know our our shorter like six or less third downs is is going really well. Um, but you know, from from the higher yardage, you know, you're going to struggle more. Uh, to, to get those, but um, we got to do better on first and second down to keep those at a minimum. And Marshawn's been catching a lot of passes and plays. I mean, is that is it just kind of happening in the offense, or is there anything that's going on? That's well, we want to use our good players, you know, and um, you know he's de he's definitely probably um, the best player on our offense, and and we want to give him the ball as many ways as we can. You know, it's it's easy to turn around and hand it to him, but. We know that he's a he's a phenomenal receiver. He he runs really good routes. Um, he just you know we just have to have him out there and, and you know and want him to kind of um, understand how important he is to us um, in the passing game as well. You know he caught a huge third down for us uh, early in the game to keep the first drive going. You know and we want to continue to see more of that. How much is that just trying to get him out of space? Um, well, I mean, anytime we can get the ball to Marshawn, we want to. You know, the screens ended up being huge, you know, in the last game. And, um, you know, sometimes there's space there, sometimes there's not. Um, but, you know, just just opportunities to have the ball in his hands because we know he's going to be able to make people miss. We know he's going to, you know, have the second effort runs. He's, he's going to make, uh, you know, he's going to run people over, um, you know, and, and the yards are going to be able to come and we'll be able to keep the sticks moving. When Max comes back, uh, presumably tomorrow, what is that going to mean to you? Uh, well, I mean, he, you know, he's kind of the centerpiece of the line. And, uh, you know, I'm, 
just you know that he's in the middle, but I mean he he really uh, helps the other four guys around him go, and the communication that he has, the um, the other guys uh, are are more clear. They understand what he's asking them to do. Um, he he usually gets us targeted correctly, um, and then then if not, you know Russell can you know Russell can trump him, but he does such a great job of getting us targeted. Um, making those other guys feel at ease. He can communicate so well with the guys next to him. I think that's the biggest thing for Max. Russell talks all the time about how they actually sit down and watch the film together. So that, is that part of it that Russell, they're on the same page, what they're looking at? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, when your center can handle the things that Max can handle, it takes a lot off the, off the quarterback. You know, he can he kind of sit back and he, he can look at other things. He doesn't have to, you know, start from square one and say, okay, I got to get these guys set. Now I got to look at the coverage. Now I got to look at, you know, all these other things going on. And it's so, you know, a guy like Max is, is so valuable that, that he can get it targeted correctly. He can make an adjustment on the fly so the quarterback doesn't have to do it all the time. Thanks, Coach. All right.